During his arrest, fake diamonds were discovered at his shack in Havana, including a police uniform, a day stamp, three handcuffs, a fake appointment letter, and 50 rounds of ammunition. It is alleged that the suspect and his partners will often ask for a lift from motorists only to plant fake diamonds and set up a fake roadblock during which they will search and arrest the victims for possession of illegal diamonds. Unconfirmed reports also indicate that an ex-member of the Namibian Defense Force also forms part of the syndicate. They will subsequently force victims to pay excessive amounts of money to avoid arrest or prosecution. Commerce Police Commander Commissioner Joseph Shikongo confirmed the arrest during a media briefing on crime prevention operations in the capital. So far, reports indicate that two people have come forth as victims shortly after they were extorted a total of $73,000 by the syndicate recently. One of the victims discovered the scam while overhearing the suspect discussing plans to extort more money from him and reported the matter to the Namibian police.